What's up, YouTube? Angry Jackalope here, Rob Ricks. One thing that I do on a regular basis is I like to listen to other people's motivational speeches. And I like to look at some of these mashups that people do. They'll go out and grab a bunch of these really inspiring uh, motivational speakers and they do these little collages where they put them together and they'll say this is uh, unstoppable, this is this, this is that. And I like listening to it because it pumps me up. <clears throat> but I'm going to do something a little different. I'm not trying to... Uh, I'm not trying to do anything other than one thing with this video. And that's to fucking help you get through the day. That's what this is. This video, I want you to share it with yourself. Favorite it, do whatever. This is the video I want you to pull to when you're in that deep, dark pit. Where you can't, you can't barely get out of bed. And that oppressive depression is just sitting on you like a fucking thousand pound gorilla just holding you down and you just cannot get up I'm gonna try to help you I understand that feeling I feel it quite often but God blessed me with two things that normally people would think kind of defects one I have extreme hyperactivity which allows me to pull on energy when I need to it took years to channel that shit and master it and not bounce off the walls and go crazy and shit and the other one is I just won't give up I have this this fire in me that says my children and my wife depend on me get your fucking ass up okay this is my message to you personally to you I know you feel like shit it feels like the world is against you it feels like you have this boulder Blocking every move you want to make. And no matter how fucking hard you push, it seems that boulder won't go anywhere. I understand that. I feel it. And it hurts. And no amount of talking, no amount of, you know, friends coming over and saying, dude, let's go do this. You'll feel better. They don't understand. And it's like people say, you know, all you got to do is just put your mind right and you could do it. That's true. That, that, that will work eventually. But it's going to take time. Because that darkness is everywhere. And it holds us. It pulls us. It's like a living, breathing darkness that just latches onto you and holds you down. I'm going to try to lend my energy to you. I'm trying to help you. I'm hoping these words will motivate you at least to, to get out of bed. I don't, I don't, I'm not asking you to run a marathon. I'm not asking you to, to go climb Mount Everest, although getting out of bed is going to feel like that. But if you're laying in bed in a, with the laptop in front of you, or your phone and you're listening to this and you're just like, I can't fucking do it. Yes, you can. I believe in you. Eventually you will believe in you. But I am fucking living proof that you can get out of bed. I got out of bed this morning. Didn't want to. Did not want to get out of bed this morning. I felt like I had ran 15 fucking marathons up Mount Everest and my body did not want to listen to me. Hell, my brain didn't want to send a signal to get out of bed. But I did, and you can too. I'll share with you some tricks that work for me. And if you don't have these in your life, that's fine. But 
it's important for you to find something for you to hook into. Hook into and use for that temporary support just to get out of bed. Just to get up. Just to get up. I want you to get out of bed. I want you to roll on your side. Take a breath. I want you to push into a sitting position. and Just sit there. And I want you to focus. I want you to ground yourself. If you have a lot of negative thoughts coming to you, fuck, you're worthless, you're nothing, you're nothing. Fuck them. Shut them out. You can control that. You decide what you think about. Don't let that shit fuck with you. It's there. Yeah, I understand. I got negative thoughts coming at me all the time. But you know what? They're getting quieter. Slowly but surely, they're shutting the fuck up. But I want you to take a breath. Good deep breath. And I want you to think, I'm alive. That's a good thing. You being alive is a wonderful thing. I'm happy that you're alive. I'm happy you're watching this video. I'm happy that you're thinking about what I'm saying. Because if I could help one person get the fuck out of bed and get their day started, regardless of whatever their current situation is, outstanding. For me, the thing that motivates me and helps me get out of bed is my children. If I don't work, I don't get paid. If I don't get paid, my children don't eat. It's that simple. So that is a very easy thing for me to focus on and push through to get up out of bed. So by now, hopefully you're sitting. That's usually not too difficult, but sometimes you'll fall back down and you want to lay back down because the bed is warm, it's comforting, it's got a cocoon, a safety net. But that's okay. So stay sitting. And if you lay back down, sit back up. Sit back up. Okay. Now the hard part, the standing up. This is where it feels like you've got 1,000 pounds just anchoring you down. Feel your ass just sinking deeper into the bed. Some of you have a bed, your feet are touching the ground. Ground's cold. You're like, fuck, I don't want to do this. Right? Just do it. Okay? I want you to stand up now. Stand up. I want you to stretch. I want you to feel the blood flowing through your body. You're alive. That has significance. That's important. Now, don't say... Fuck my life. Don't let those get into your head. Instead, think this. I'm alive. I have a purpose. Most of us don't know what our purpose is. You won't know necessarily what your purpose is, but you have a purpose. There is a reason for you to be here. Believe me when I say that. I believe that is true and it's it's a universal truth just like breathing just like a heart beating it has to happen you are here for a reason and it might be something that is so far reaching you couldn't even comprehend it if it was given to you on a piece of paper my wife said something to a patient the other night and it stuck with me as she told it to me, she was telling this lady, and this lady had a lot of problems, but she told the lady, you have a purpose. And I, I nodded because I, I agree with that. And she said, it might be something like you're walking down the street and you drop something, you go to pick it up, and the guy behind you suddenly stops because you interrupted his path. Whereas if you didn't, a series of events could have happened. Yeah, Totally. It might be something that you think is totally inconsequential, but if you were dead or you weren't here, you weren't in that guy's way, that guy walked out, got plowed by a fucking bus. He did not have a kid. 
That kid did not have a kid. The kid, two generations down, might have been the one who came up with a concept to create world peace. Now suddenly, even you dropping some shit on the ground that you might have thought is totally inconsequential now has huge significance. Or if you're just laying in bed and you don't get up, maybe you're not there to help save the world. Pretty big, pretty big leap, right? Getting up, saying fuck my life to, let's go save the world. I want you to start saying that every day. Let's save the world. Because every action that is positive to doing is helping to save the world. There was a point when I was young, I didn't believe any one person could make a difference. And it got even more entrenched as I got older. I got more and more jaded as time went by. But now I realize as I've looked around and I've realized my actions alone impact so many. That's why I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to get you out of bed. I'm trying to get you to think right. You will save the world. You will save the world. You are the hero of the story. Even if you don't know it. But if you're laying in bed, it's not being saved today. So I hope, this might be silly, it's just an experiment, but I'm hoping at least one of you guys was able to get out of bed. Because I believe in you. And I'm hoping you understand. I understand. God, I understand. It's fucking hard, man. I get it. But I do it. And I'm not. I'm not Superman. I'm an average guy, man, just like you. You know, if you're a gal, same thing. You just got to fucking believe you have a purpose. You might never know what it is, but it's important. Everybody has a role to play in this life. I believe in you. So I hope, I pray, that this helped at least one person. If your guys are watching this and you're like, oh, that's just some bullshit, that's fine. That's just not, it's not for you then. But it's for a very specific person, and that person will know when I'm speaking to them. I believe in you. All right. How's it feel to be out of bed now? Go ahead, start your day. All right, man. Okay, guys. <clears throat> if you like it, like it. Please subscribe. Tell your friends. Till next time, please be good to each other and be good to yourself. Especially you. You deserve it.